Come on. First. 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 You're, you're gonna be fired from the whole building here. Come on. Three. Three. One. Three. Three. None. 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 That's not an answer. Come on. Okay, we have three, we have one. The answer is one. Who said one? You said one. You're fine. You said one. Okay, why? Uh, there is you skip uh, you skip two letters. That's it. One. Yeah, one. yeah. because we have telephone and then we don't have dot. It's one. Then we have ta. Yeah. Then we don't have two. Uh, tha, then Jim. Then we have ha. Then we don't have three. So we have we don't have one. Then we don't have two. Then we don't have three. This is the logic. It's logical. So we have rock. The next one. This is pretty easy. If you are good in mathematics, if you are not, then probably you shouldn't be here. It's pretty easy. We don't have five, we don't have one, we have just one, two, and three. Come on. Come on. Three. Third answer. Okay, we have three. 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 Other answers? First. First. You're the next one. <laughs> so, uh, who said uh, the third answer? You, 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 you. Why it is the, the third sense? Well, it's, it can be interpreted this way and it can be interpreted differently. It's one, then one. Uh, uh, times two plus one equals to three. Then three uh, times two plus one equals to seven, etc. We arrive to the one. <laughs> I want some answers. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! It's traditional Chinese. No answers. Of course there will be no answers. It's obvious. So I'm going to give you an indication so you can find the right answer. It's two. I gave you an indication and you could figure out the right answer, okay? Um, look at this for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. One, first. one. <laughs> first. The first one. The first one. You used your memory to memorize the right symbol. Okay. Now seriously, what's game design? What is uh, the main the core or the main idea of the game? So game design is uh, usually defined as the game controls, how you control the character in the game, plus the game environment. It's uh, the situation that you put the player into so for example you have Super Mario that you put him in, in, in a, a plane uh, scene or plane uh, stage with enemies approaching enemies that uh, can die from one hit and enemies that uh, die from two hits etc so we have these two and we have what we have seen in the previous examples we have having past knowledges. 
So you know that in the Arabic alphabet we have alif ba ta fa. So you know that you acquired that in primary school. Have an average logic. So you used logic to figure out that there is no letter, that one letter is skipped, then two letters are skipped, then three letters are skipped. You used your uh, reasoning or mathematics to figure out that one is uh, multiplied by two, then added one, then etc. You were able to get familiar indications in our example colors, and you were uh, able to memorize things. I gave you five seconds, you could memorize the right answer. So if you need an example or examples, here, if you have played uh, Super Mario Brothers, have you ever played Super Mario Brothers? No. Yeah. <laughs> Raise your hand if you played Super Mario Brothers. You have no childhood. <laughs> and you, you, you probably lived in Mali. Or... <laughs> so, if you if you played Super Mario Brothers before, and I create uh, a game that is similar to Super Mario Brothers, and I put you uh, to a similar situation, to this situation, you are going to jump when you are under this block. It's obvious because you acquired that in the. Uh, uh, past years, having an average logic. It's logic. Using reasoning to predict an upcoming event. So, for example, here our player is. So, the player is running, there are missiles coming from the sky. You predict that there will be a missile or a rocket at this position. At the next, uh, or in the next five seconds or moments. Get familiar indications. So if I put you to a similar situation to this, we have the player, we have the door, and we have the uh, shape of the key that uh, will allow you to open the door, drawn on top of the door. Memorize things. I hate this one. So these are some books that will help you improve uh, sharpening your ideas for games. If you want to uh, get these books, I can pass them to you if you have a flash drive or something, USB. So we uh, spoke about design. So video games basically are uh, like any any uh, project that you would work on, like a big software or something. You start with design to develop conception, then pass uh, or switch to development, technicals. Start coding. Okay, so a video game is like we can we can we can uh, we can approach it to probably cooking. Because you need a cauldron, you need a pot, which is the IDE or the game engine. IDE if you're started if you're starting from scratch. And we have game engine if you want less work. <coughs> we have the ingredients. The graphics, the sounds, scenario if you have one, and the story. We have the fire. The fire is the programming language. Okay? Let's start with the ingredients. Uh, we often uh, refer to them by uh, the word assets. So we have graphics, we have 2D graphics, we have 3D graphics. In 2D graphics, uh, we, uh, we name them sprites uh, and backgrounds. In 3D, we have models. We have sounds, SFX, uh, sound effects. So this is a sound effect. We have soundtracks, music for the menu, for the in-game, for uh, the boss level, and we have stories and scenarios. For the tools or the cauldron, we have game engines. 
In the game engines, we have two types. We have DND, that stands for drag and drop. In the DND game engines, we have a pre programmed components. For example, we have a player fully coded that can jump, that can uh, run, that we drag it and put it directly into our level or our scene or our room. We have a second type which is scripting that you don't have anything, you should start from zero. You have some functions, some macros, variables, constants, and you should use them to make your game. We have IDE, the integrated development environments, I do not really recommend them for video game development because you are going to start from zero. You will be coding your phys uh, physics engine, you will be uh, coding the system sound, the sound system, the graphics system, etc. So I do not, I do not recommend it for video game development. The tools, yep. I have a question. Uh, coding with an IDE, which means from scratch, is not recommended by all the developers, or just the developers that are here? No, the, devo the developers that are here today. So, so we, just for we have three days. Three days are not enough to start from scratch, mm -hmm. really. So, but generally, for a guy who wants to code, is it yeah, it's, good? Yeah, I think it's better to to uh, code from scratch because you know what your game engine contains. So if if something comes up, it's it's not it's not the uh, manufacturer's fault. It's your fault. You did something, and you have to correct it. But you have but if you use a game engine, and you have a problem with it, you cannot fix it. Because it comes from, from high up. Okay? We have some examples.